Hello, today we are discussing about the industrial production of penicillin. Let us start with the introduction of penicillin. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin secretion by the mold penicillin notatum in 1929. Penicillin is not a single chemical compound but a group of compounds of related structure and activity. Penicillin is selective for gram-positive bacteria, some spirochetes and the gram-negative diplococci, example Neisseria. There are six penicillins. Penicillin G, that is benzyl penicillin, penicillin V, phenoxymethyl penicillin, penicillin F, 2 pentenyl penicillin. Penicillin X, parahydroxy benzyl penicillin, Penicillin K, N heptyl penicillin, Penicillin O, allyl mercaptomethyl penicillin. Fleming's original Penicillium notatum strain, when grown on his medium, produced Penicillin F. Chemically, the natural penicillin is 6 amino penicillinic acid, that is 6 APA, which consists of thiazolidine ring with a condensed beta lactam ring. The various penicillins differ primarily in the nature of R side chain which are attached by an amido linkage to the chemical nucleus of the molecule. If penicillin fermentation is carried out without the addition of side chain precursor, the natural penicillins are formed from which only benzyl penicillin can be isolated. The desired penicillin can be obtained by adding suitable side chain precursor into the medium. Such penicillins are called as semi-synthetic penicillins. Natural penicillins are penicillin V and penicillin G. These are ineffective against microorganisms that produce beta lactamase since this enzyme can hydrolyze penicillins. Example Staphylococcus aureus. Several semi-synthetic penicillins that are resistant to beta lactamase have been developed. Example, cloxacillin, ambicillin, floxacillin and aslocillin. Now, move to fermentation process of penicillin. There are four stages in the production of penicillin. First one, strain development. Second, inoculum production. 
third inoculation and fourth extraction and purification first one strain development the variety of mold which yield greater amount of penicillin is called as high yielding strain and are generally developed from the wild penicillium chrysogenum by a process called a sequential genetic selection This process consists of stepwise development of improved mutant by treating the wild strain of Penicillium chrysogena. It is done with a series of mutagenic agents or exposing to UV light radiation either individually or in combination such as X-rays and chemical mutagens is called as strain improvement. Strain development is a laborious and time consuming process. The selected mutant process greater capacity for antibiotic production than the wild type. Second stage inoculum production. The microorganism which is used in a fermentation process is called as inoculum. A high yielding strain of Penicillium chrysogenum is generally employed as an inoculum. A strain of the fungus is subcultured from stock culture for inoculum development. Spores from primary source are suspended in water or in a dilute solution of a non-toxic wetting agent such as 1 is to 10,000 sodium lauryl sulfate. The spores are then added to flask or bottles of wheat bran plus nutrient solution and these are incubated for 5 to 7 days and 24 degrees Celsius so as to provide heavy sporulation. The entire process is repeated several times in order to have more sporulation. The resulting spores are used directly to inoculate inoculum tanks or a stirred fermenter. The incubation temperature is maintained at 24 to 27 degrees Celsius for two days with agitation and aeration in order to facilitate heavy mycelial growth which may be added to a second or even a third stage fermentation. Resulting inoculum which is employed in a production tank is tested both by microscopic examination and by subculturing method. Many sporulation media have been designed to obtain large number of spores. The one developed by Moyer and Kogil in 1946 is most extensively used one. Moyer and Kogel sporulation medium contains glycerol, cane molasses, corn steep liquor, magnesium sulfate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, peptone, sodium chloride, iron tartarate, copper sulfate, agar and distilled water. Concentration of these components are given in the unit gram per litre. Third step inoculation. Introduction of pure inoculum into the production tank or a fermenter is called as inoculation. There are different types of inoculum. First one dry spore may be used as an inoculum. Since the spores of 
പെൻസിലിയം ക്രൈസോജിനം ആർ ഹൈഡ്രോഫോബിക് എതിർ സ്പൂസ് ആർ ബ്ലോൺ ഡീപ്പ് ഇൻ ടു ദ മീഡിയം ഓർ എ വെറ്റിംഗ് ഏജൻറ്റ് സച്ചാസ് സോഡിയം ലോറൽ സൾഫേറ്റ് എസ് യൂസ്ഡ് Second type is suspension of ungerminated spores. This suspension is made by using 1 is to 10,000 sodium lauryl sulfate solution. This suspension is fed to the fermenter by suitable techniques like spray gun or a pipette. This is followed by agitation and aeration of the fermentation medium in order to achieve equal and uniform distribution of the spores in the entire medium. Third one, feeding the fermentation tank with the pre-germinated spores or mycelial pellets which are prepared by the germination of spores. Pellets are generally fed to the fermentation medium after 2 or 3 days of spore inoculation. Fermenters with a capacity of 40,000 to 2 lakh liters are generally employed for the production of penicillin. Due to difficulties with the oxygen supply, larger tanks are not employed. Depending upon the production strain, the operational temperature is maintained between 25 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. The medium employed for penicillin production should achieve an abundant growth of the mycelium. maximum accumulation of the antibiotic easy and inexpensive extraction and purification carbon source is generally supplied in the form of lactose glucose sucrose glycerol and sorbitol can also be employed as carbon source Nitrogen source is generally supplied in the form of ammonium sulfate or ammonium acetate or ammonium nitrate. Abundant formation of mycelium and spores takes place when a medium contains constant liquid because it contains important amino acids required for the mycelial growth. Potassium and phosphorus are supplied in the form of potassium dihydrogen phosphate magnesium iron and copper are supplied in the form of sulfates all these may be present in constant liquor For example, Jackson's medium contains constant liquor, lactose, glucose, calcium carbonate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate and edible oil. Penicillin yields with time are linear from approximately 48 to 96 hours. The production phase can be extended to 120 to 180 hours. The final penicillin yield is in the range of 3 to 5 percentage which largely depend on the amount of carbohydrate consumed during fermentation process.
Penicillin production by continuous fermentation has been attempted but it has been difficult due to instability of the production strains. Fourth step extraction and purification. After it is assessed that sufficient amount of penicillin has been produced during fermentation process, it is extracted and then purified. The entire process is carried out in three different stages. They are separation of mycelium, extraction of penicillin and treatment of crude extract. First one, mycelium is separated from the medium by employing rotatory vacuum filter. This process should be performed in order to avoid contaminating microorganisms which produce penicillinase enzymes. The penicillin is excreted into the medium and less than 1% remains as mycelium bound. Extraction of penicillin is carried out by employing counter current extraction method. The pH of the liquid after separation of the mycelium is adjusted to 2 to 2.5 by adding phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid. This treatment converts penicillin into anionic form. The liquid is immediately extracted with an organic solvent such as amyl acetate or butyl acetate or methyl isobutyl ketone. This step has to be carried out quickly because it is unstable at low pH. The penicillin is then back extracted into water from the organic solvent by adding enough potassium or sodium hydroxide which also results in the elevation of pH to 7 to 7.5. The resulting aqueous solution is again acidified and re-extracted with organic solvent. These shift between water and the solvent helps in the purification of the penicillin. Finally, the penicillin is obtained in the form of sodium penicillin. The spent solvent is recovered by distillation for reuse. Third one, the resulted sodium penicillin is treated with a charcoal to remove pyrogens, which are fever causing substances. It is also sometimes sterilized to remove bacteria by using seeds filter. After removing bacteria using seeds filter, the sodium penicillin is prepared in crystalline form by crystallization. It may be packed as powder in sterile vials or prepared in the form of tablets or in the form of syrup for oral usage. 